हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम सुबोध दास योर फ्रेंड एंड गाइड सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड यू अबाउट द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस अबाउट द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स अबाउट द कंप्लीमेंटरी एंगल्स so today we'll discuss about the most vital part of trigonometry that is trigonometric identities most of the students they fear to solve the trigonometric identity questions prove that lhs is equal to rhs so there is a pure psychosis in the mind of the students don't get any nervousness in your mind because your knowledge is your power so now let us see how to solve the problem based on the identity so before it now let us know about the concept so trigonometric identities now you know take a right angle triangle let a b c right angle let b so here you know you will take angle a then your sin a is equal to bc by ac because opposite by hypotenuse cos a is equal to ab by ac adjacent by hypotenuse tan a is equal to bc by ab opposite by adjacent cot a is equal to ab by bc ab by bc adjacent by opposite now sec a is equal to ac by ab your hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse the side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse so sec a is equal to ac by ab ac by ab adjacent side now cos sec a is equal to your ac by bc hypotenuse by the opposite side h by o you know it in the ratio part so now here in triangle abc in triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degree okay it is given so it's a right angle triangle it is a right angle triangle or right triangle we can say it so here we can write here according to Pythagoras theorem a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square okay a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square you know it now this is the equation one equation one i have taken it now dividing equation 1 equation 1 by ac square on both sides on both sides we will get what we will get let's see ab square by ac square plus bc square by ac square is equal to ac square by ac square that is equal to implies is equal to that so ab by ac whole square plus bc by ac whole square is equal to 1 ac square by ac square cancel each other so that is equal to 1 now ab by ac see where ab by ac is there ab by ac here so that implies cos a whole square plus bc by ac here so sin a whole square is equal to 1 that implies what cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 so this is your identity identity number one trigonometric 
identity. Then what is an identity? What is an identity? What is an identity? Question asked in the internal assessment. So what is an identity? So it is true. It is true for any value of variable. Any value of variable. That means whatever the value of A may be. A may be 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree. Whatever it may be. So acute angle we are taking here. 0 to 90 we are not taking others. Our cases. So cos square A cos sin square will come. One identity. So from this we can write here uh, cos square A plus sin square A is equal to 1. That implies here. Cos square A is equal to 1 minus sin square. Also that implies sin square A is equal to 1 minus cos square A. Taking cos square to right side, sin square to right side, we can get cos square A is equal to 1 minus sin square A. And sin square A is equal to 1 minus cos square A. So now other identities are there. What are the other identities? Now let us discuss about it. So now already we know this in the first part. So here from equation 1 dividing equation 1 by a b square on both sides on both sides we will get what do we get a b square by a b square plus b c square by a b square is equal to a c square by a b square that implies your a b square by a b square directly like one same term is there plus b c by a b whole square is equal to a c by a b whole square that implies one plus b c by a b where is b c by a b b c by a b 10 a so, 10a square is equal to ac by ab. Where is ac? ac? ac by ab. ac by ab. So, sec a four square. That implies here 1 plus 10 square a is equal to sec square a. So, this is your second identity or we can write sec square a minus 10 square a is equal to 1. Keeping 1 on the right side. So here other formula how to find out sec square a 1 plus 10 square a not 10 square a. Here 10 square a is equal to how much? So sec square a minus 1. So we have taken angle A. Sometimes we are taking angle theta also. So this is the second identity. Sec square A minus 10 square A is equal to 1. Now move on to the third identity. Now move on to the third identity. Dividing equation 1 by BC square. On both sides we will get what? A B square by B C square plus B C square by B C square is equal to A C square by B C square. That implies A B square A B by B C whole square plus 1. B C square by B C square is 1. That is equal to A C by B C whole square. So, AB by BC. Where is AB by BC? AB by BC. C. AB by BC here. AB by BC. So, that is implies cot A whole square plus 1 is equal to AC by BC. AC by BC. C. AC by BC. AC by BC is here. 
so that is your cross sec a whole square okay that implies cos square a plus 1 is equal to cos x square a so this is your third identity or we can write what cos x square a minus cos square a is equal to 1 and so how to find cos square a cos square a is equal to cos x square a minus 1 so you are expressing the trigonometric identities so how different types of questions are coming by applying this trigonometric identities now let us discuss about the different examples related to trigonometric identities so now let's see example 1 sin theta is equal to 3 by 5 find cos theta okay see we know from the identity cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta okay so cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta 1 minus sin theta whole square is equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 whole square is equal to 1 minus 9 by 25 is equal to 25 minus 9 by 25 is equal to 16 by 25 okay cos square theta so cos theta is equal to root over of cos square theta is equal to root over of 16 by 25 so positive value we are taking that is equal to your 4 by 5 So see four by five. So here, what I have done, I have expressed one trigonometric ratio in term of other trigonometric ratio with the help of identities. So now I will display the relations between the trigonometric ratios on the board. Please note it down. So now move on to some examples of trigonometric identity. Example one, prove that tan a plus cot a is equal to cos a into sec a. So how to solve it? How to find out? So first of all, write the question. Again, I am writing tan a into cot a is equal to cos a. Into second, okay. So I have to take LHS or RHS. So generally we are taking LHS. This is your left hand side. This is your right hand side. Now taking LHS, LHS left hand side. What are taking? Ten a into cot a. Is equal to what we require cosec and sec. So there is relation. Is there any relation between tan and cosec? No. Square relation different. This is a ratio. Cot and sec. No. But there is relation between sine and cosec. There is relation between cos and sec. So from cosec relation, cosec relation, we can find out tan is equal to sine by cosec. Ah. Uh, Is there is there plus 
plus sign is given in the question, not in two. So here plus sign is given. Plus cot A. Cos A by sin A. Okay. Now take LCM. LCM your sin A cos A. Now you are sin into sin, sin A into sin A. So your sin square A plus cos A into cos A. Cos square A. That is equal to sin square A plus cos square A. Sin square A plus cos square A. One identity. So that is equal to your 1 by sin A into cos A. Sin A cos A means sin A into cot A. So 1 by sin A into 1 by cos A. 1 by sin A cos A K. Cos A K A into sec A. So R H S right hand side proved. Note it down. Now move on to the second example. See, root over is given. 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A whole root over is equal to sec A plus 10A. So here in these types of question, first what we will do? Take LHS. We are proving LHS. Okay, same system. Will be followed. But here what sign is given? See, what sign? Positive sign. So positive, we have to keep positive sign. Positive means, so I can write LHS. See what I am doing and how I am doing. 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A root over. So I have to keep plus sign. Plus sign. So plus what is there? The term having plus sign will be multiplied both in numerator as well as denominator. Then the value will not change. So that I can write. That is equal to 1 plus sin A into 1 plus sin sin multiplying 1 plus sin a in the numerator as well as in the denominator in the denominator root over sign is there so given the root over sign now 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a most of the students write a plus b into a plus b a square plus b square they are they commit the mistake but no that is equal to your 1 plus sin a whole square by a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square whole root over that we can write 1 minus sin square a identity 1 minus sin square a cos square a so 1 plus sin a whole square by cos square a whole root over okay now square is there, root over is there. So square and root over both will be cancelled. Now that is equal to your 1 plus sin A by cos A. That is equal to your 1 by cos A plus sin A by cos A. That is equal to your 1 by cos A is your sec A plus sin A by cos A is your 10A. So, RHS proved. So, we have taken LHS, we have proved RHS. So, keep it in mind. Plus sign is there. Plus. So, we have to multiply. Plus in both numerator and denominator. If minus sign will be there, then there are cases. You multiply minus. So, these types of questions are coming in the board examinations. So, keep it in mind. Now, my practice. Now, we'll move for the next examples. So, now, I'll move on to example number 3. What is given? Let us see. Prove that. 1 minus cos A by sin A plus sin A by 1 minus cos A is equal to 2 cos A. So, now, take LHS. Left hand side. What is given? 1 minus cos A by sin A plus sin a by 1 minus cos a. So, that equal to. Take LCM. LCM or sin a into 1 minus cos a. Okay. So, here 1 minus cos a into 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos a into 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos a whole square. Plus sin a into sin a. Sin square a. Okay. So that is equal to 
a minus b whole square a minus b whole square into a square plus b square minus 2 a b so a minus b whole square 1 plus cos square a minus 2 cos a plus sin square a whole divided by sin a into 1 minus cos a okay now that equal to what is given 1 plus cos square a plus sin square a see cos square a here sin square a cos square a plus sin square a is 1 cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 from identity we know it so that is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos a 2 cos a whole divided by sin a into 1 minus cos a that is equal to your 2 common ok right 2 minus 2 cos a by sin a into 1 minus cos a that is equal to 2 common 1 minus cos a by sin a into 1 minus cos a so 1 minus cos a 1 minus cos a cancel that is equal to your 2 by sin a is equal to 1 by sin a cos a k 2 by sin a 2 cos a k is equal to 2 cos a k a r h s we are getting proved so from l h s here we got the r h s so now thanks for watching my videos till now kindly like my videos share my videos and subscribe to my channel at the same time don't forget to give your valuable comments that will inspire me to upload more and more conceptual videos thank you